Coming down the Irish Sea, through Wales, into the southwest, down to the Channel Islands. A fair number of showers for Northern Ireland, and quite a crop of showers here over Northern England, working their way down into the Midlands and East Anglia. And outside of Radar Range, a fair number of showers over Scotland. So today, a fair number of showers around, mostly on the hills and coasts. Once again, some of them have hail, sleet and snow on the hills, and some thunder too. But in the south, it'll probably stay dry and bright, and one or two other places sheltered from those northerly winds will stay probably bright and sunny for much of the day. The winds today from the north northwest quite strong, perhaps even gale force in some parts of northern Scotland. And feeling cold there too, one or two places the temperature is no higher than six, the best that we can hope for in the south around about 12. Tonight the showers being mostly confined to the coast, clear inland, becoming misty, one or two fog patches and quite cold with frost and there could be the odd icy patch anywhere in central England, central Ireland and central parts of Scotland. The temperatures tomorrow, well, we won't see much change. The maximum temperature likely to be around 11 degrees Celsius. And once again, a fair number of showers around, mostly on the coasts. But we'll find, once again, these sheltered areas, away from those north to northwesterly winds, staying fairly bright and sunny. But fairly windy tomorrow and still feeling cold. That's it from me. Wogan's Friday guests include Edward Heath and Elaine Stritch. Then at 7.30... Hmm? Oh, well, the only difference between Ethiopian mink and ordinary mink is uh, the colour. Yeah. That's right. Mm? Yeah. What's the colour of them coats we've got in the garage? Tabby. Yes, they're tabby. <laughs> At 8, Bruce extends another invitation to join him for the Generation Game. At 9.30, both medical and counselling skills are put severely to the test. Just look at this place. More like a social security office in a hospital. God knows what happens in an emergency. At 10.20, the man from Wobegon tells the secrets of the cheese eaters. People who make Ludafisk have to change their clothes when they leave work and go home. But it doesn't help. At 11.20, Michael Caine in Alfie, enjoying life to the full and unconcerned by the effect he has on others. Mayhem to round off Friday on one. Well, back to Friday afternoon, and in 20 minutes, Robert Mitchum, Cary Grant and Deborah Kerr star in our film comedy, The Grass is Greener, a story of infidelity among the landed gentry and featuring songs by Noel Coward. And before the stately homes of England, the homesteads of Ramsey Street, where we find The Neighbours. Mm -hmm.